Welcome back to Command & Conquer Rivals and welcome to our next battle which is also the last battle of the tutorial sections here. So this time we have to utilize all the skills we have we have earned during the previous missions here. So let's get our house there going and then let's get our building set up starting with the barracks just so we can pump out some cheap units here. And the enemy is already taking control of the missile, but thankfully, yes, I know, I know that left hand strong arm, but thanks for informing me. Thankfully, you already have guys on the go here. And the thing with the missile is also that it does charge up, but the charge up does, it's not reverted when you take control. Instead, it just remains where it is. So if it's 90% charged up and then you take it, then you profit from it being almost charged up. Those guys are most likely going to smoke our guys here but that's okay because we have more units inbound and at the moment it's not charging oh now this of course because they took that other platform there but it's going to be okay I'm going to get that running in time there we go now it's contested it almost charged up and now it essentially is charged up in our favor and boom there we go we're halfway there let's get a predator tank rolling just so we can get some units that can counter on their vehicles if they build any and the turret there is going to maybe I should have built that in the corner there it doesn't really matter so predator tank now it's your time to shine same goes for my ri rifle guys here yeah units can overlap so at least you don't have to move them around the tiles just to get them into position and yeah I should win this because that tank was already damaged and there we go that tank is also a very very bumbling tank and they send more of those, but it doesn't matter because I've got two and I've won this anyway, so it doesn't doesn't even matter if they had more stuff than I have. And there we go. It's another victory. Let's see how many points we get for this. Oh, it's another 20 points. I'm not quite sure why I'm surprised because that's what we got for the previous missions, I think. There we go. Or did we? In any case, we've got a different loot crate. This one here looks more futuristic. And we got 100 Command and Conquer coins. And we got some more riflemen. We already have a bunch of those, but uh, well, I guess they're common. More rare missile squads. And the purple card is a Titan, an epic card. Yep, you can tell it's epic because it's purple. Also, we've got this diamond currency. I'm not entirely sure what that actually does, but it doesn't really matter. We can't place not yet because we have to reach level four to do so. But what we can do is Actually, yeah, firstly, we can modify our army a little bit, so let's let's get that get that Titan in there. I like the Titan in the in Tiberium Wars. That one just looks... the Wolverine looks really cu cute. The Titan looks pretty good to me, even though the Steel Talons are probably the worst faction in the entire game. Or rather in Kent's Wrath, that is. Anyway, we've got Strong Arm here, and we can switch her out. At least not yet. I guess we have to draw more Commander cards for that or whatever. We could shop for them, but we're not going to do that. But what we are probably going to do is just upgrade our stuff a little bit. Since we do got a lot of coins here. Upgrading these guys here is somewhat pricey. May or may not be worth it. We do have a fair amount of vehicles, so we only have to rely on the missile guys so much. But yeah, we may as well get these guys here some upgrades. And yeah, since we have 70 coins left, let's get you upgraded. And you have... You have a thousand health, really. That's a lot more than I thought you had. But then again, you are rare, so I guess it's just to be fine. In any case, let's find an opponent. And our opponent is... Steven. Oh dear. Not Steven. He's my nemesis. Yeah, Steven is slightly more advanced than we are because he's got 140 rank points or whatever. Anyway, let's get our harvester for that extra money. There's no real reason not to go with that harvester. And let's take that position. Steven isn't here yet, so let's get more rifle guys and let's take that other position to get that. Actually, we only need one to charge up as long as he doesn't have one, but that's okay with me. And he rolls in his infantry. Oh, oh, and he's got his turret, but that's okay because we can get a turret as well to flank his guys, sort of, kind of. And then let's see where this goes. Oh, those guys are good against the turret, but the turret is also good against them. And the other rifleman, they're not good against his turret, but that's okay. 
So rifle guys, you can can get the turret destroyed, which is almost gone anyway. And then just help me take that position. I should probably get an arms factory. But yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, he's coming in with vehicles now. And he also blocked the, the southern path there. Or at least made it a little bit harder for me to get through there. And yeah, let's, let's position our turret here. And the first nuke has been fired. Well, it seems Steve has a couple more points there. Maybe he's also level 3. So I'm not fighting against someone who's way out of my league. And boom, there we go. So we probably need some more anti anti vehicle stuff here because he's he's pumping out those rhinos. That's okay, our rocket guys are on the way and he's got a predator. Oh dear. So what could we do? We should probably get our Yeah, I, I didn't really pay too much attention to my financial situation here. I actually had quite a lot of money and I should build an arms factory a little bit earlier if only to spend the money I have because there's no real point in hoarding it. If you can build stuff, you should probably build stuff. Okay, so he's he's advancing here. He definitely has more stuff than I have, but... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I don't think we can can get this, this missile here stopped in time, but... We do have our attack lab now, so we can can access our high-end unit, the Titan. But about more about that in a bit, for the time being. Let's have our Wolverine stroll over here. The Wolverine really looks very lumbering. Everything is lumbering in this game. The tanks as well. And nope, that Predator entered that that's Hex first. But it's okay. So we should probably watch out. Yeah, I don't think we can prevent him from firing that missile. Because there's... Oh yeah. Yeah, and that was a mistake just getting that guy out of that Hex. But it just happens. In any case... Oh, and there's another turret as well. Yeah, this one's going to fire. There's nothing we can do about that, but that's okay, because we've got more more stuff coming in. And the Predator will take care of that turret. There we go. So now things are a little bit more balanced. None of us is really caring about those other other two like, triple hexes in the corner there. But that's okay. And there we go. This is contested again. And we almost have enough money for our high-end unit, the Titan. But let's see about that for now. Those guys can hold the line, and the Titan has a special ability of firing through other units. So let's see how, just how impressive that is. Oh, well that didn't work, but that's okay. Boom, and dead. Yep, the Titan is just flat out more powerful than anything else on the battlefield, which I very much appreciate. And you can also fire at multiple units, which is going to give us an additional advantage here. So pay attention to the Predator tank. Yep, yeah, Predator tank loses, I don't know, two-thirds of its hit points. And the Titan fires pretty slowly, but... That doesn't really matter if you if you kill any, everything in one or two hit. Yep, that that rhino just died in one hit, and the the titan itself has a ton of hit points. That turret, for example, pay attention to the hit points of the titans, just de doesn't deal any damage. It, the turret obviously isn't good against vehicles anyway, but just saying. And there we go. Yep, we probably could have won this earlier if we had gone for the titan earlier, which we could have done. We did have enough money for that. And yeah, well, it's almost like that epic draw won us the battle here. Well, so that that was our our fight against Steve. And you know what? Uh, I I think I'm done here. This is pretty much all there is to see. You do get some more units, obviously air units and stuff. But with regard to core gameplay, this is how it is. There's no real variety. You get some more coins. Get more Wolverines here. But generally spoken, that is it. So thanks for watching and take care.